what's up guys it's your girl mabel here and today i'm back with yet another video today i'm playing on the Terran smp if you don't know it is an smp i'm part of i stream it all the time today i thought i'd do a little tutorial on how to make a automatic sugarcane farm because i am in dire need of a source of paper so i've done this sugarcane machine before but this time i'm gonna make it a bit more survival friendly so these are the materials i'm going to be using not necessarily this exact amount because i just randomly put redstone i didn't know how much i needed so what we're gonna do first is go ahead and make the area where our sugarcane is gonna be sitting so we're gonna make it supporting eight sugar canes so one two three four five six seven eight and then we're gonna go ahead and block it off with cobblestone for now we're not gonna make it too too fancy because i again i'm I'm making this starter friendly. I need, <laughs> I just need sugarcane. All right, so I put our water down like this, so that way we can have some sugarcane growing here. I forgot my sugarcane in my chest. I'll be right back. All right, now that I got my sugarcane, I'm just going to plant it all on this dirt right here. All right, after I put your sugarcane, what I'm going to do is go ahead and make a little place for some water so you're gonna put a bucket of water right here and then want it to go all the way to the end like this and then after you put your chest you can put a single chest you can put a double chest whatever you prefer put your hopper into the chest so let's just test it out real quick see if it works Yep, our cobblestone's there. What I also did, I covered our water source for the sugarcane with some cobblestone. All right, so next thing you want to do is actually go ahead and place your pistons. So place them all the way across here where your sugarcane is. Like so. And then we're going to come behind the pistons with, up, with our observers. We're gonna go behind the pistons and we're gonna place them like so. That way, whenever you place it this way, it's gonna make the little face looking thing face that way. Another way you can see if you did it right is this little arrow should be pointing that way. After you placed your observers, you're gonna want to come and put some redstone dust behind every single observer. So technically you could go ahead and leave it like this, but I'm gonna go and hide all this redstone just so like, no one destroys it on accident and I'm gonna make it so you can see what's going on on the inside of the machine with some glass. A creeper literally almost blew up our <laughs> newly made sugarcane farm. Um, that would have been really, really awkward. Uh, hey guys. Here's how it looks, freaking blown up. All right, so as you can see, I'm just covering everything up. That way, nothing really bad happens to it. We don't have any creepers falling in on accident. Um, <laughs> that would have been kind of bad. So here we go. We have our automatic sugarcane farm. It should start working if we do a bit of AFK near the farm it's not gonna magically start going crazy just yet i'm also gonna go ahead and add some torches so i'm gonna put some on the outside and i'm going to put one on the inside walls like right here for example <laughs> literally just gonna put it on the glass um i 
cannot reach on the inside. All right, well, here's the final farm. Let me know in the description how it worked for you. If you want a more formal version of this video, I'm gonna leave my tutorial that I did for 1.17. It's basically the exact same except this one. I made it a bit more survival proof. I just used one hopper instead of putting hoppers across the whole thing. And if you haven't seen any of my Tern SMP live streams, I will also leave the playlist to every VOD I've done so far in the description as well. All right, so I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If it helped you, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next video. Bye.